previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> and then everyone's Hello. Like, shit. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Hey, it's me, Chris, and welcome back to Life is Strange. I already did this once, but the sound went out again. So now I have to redo it. Yay. But here we go. Episode four, the dark room. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? <sighs> we never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So weird, Kelly doesn't like the word hella. She doesn't have her blue hair. Weird. Ah. Sad. I don't like it. Ooh. Got the cold chills. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell <sighs> at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. <clears throat> I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water?
I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Me neither. It's a terrible fate. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Aww. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Cotville. Oh, there's more. Sorry. It's nice my parents sent a card Thank at you least. Of you. I wonder who this is. Dear kind of a generic Dear color. Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you soon. Or see you again, Megan, whoever the hell that is. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Chloe! Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well. Etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. There's the old <sighs> Chloe. Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> Being Snoopy. Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals Weird. now. Weird. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Anything else? That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Sad. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. So I guess she's in the uh, garage now. That you th that's what uh, it used to Instead be. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? No. Drink up, Buttercup. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Never. Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. 
They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Damn. Chloe. A lot. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Yeah. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, I don't like it. Ah, oh, here's the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power! <laughs> Excuse me. Cute. I hope I can fix this. <laughs> Go back and fix this. I'm sure there's gonna be a way. Like find that picture that I looked at in the first place. No. <sighs> no, she's asleep. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with <laughs> me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh. never end. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. 
kidding. How can you bother no. me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like <laughs> me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult dead. <laughs> So what's on your mind? Leave. Oh. oh. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. Mm. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No. Nah. Cause they're the last names, Bryce. I don't Bryce. know how to say this, but. I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. <sighs> Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for <sighs> Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? <laughs> Nobody knows, all right? All this crazy shit. It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More they than I want evil. to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these Hi, bills whenever you want. Victoria, come see me in my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked to LA so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. If you so, if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. So weird. Like Victoria should not be, you know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. Taylor. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die. So come back. Nathan. In the dark, we're developing shots for the contest. Sweet. So no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Mom. Oh. Alyssa. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. It's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh, my God. I was not aiming at you. I swear. Don't do it again. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. <laughs> to think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. It's a sad, sad world. <sighs> oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. No. 
Chloe. Dead birds. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Damn, that's a lot. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Hello again, William. My. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak <laughs> French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. So say us. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. You act. Mm. Choices of food coupon, boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to this whole pitches. episode is just making me sad. Alright, let's go upstairs. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Aww. Go upstairs, go upstairs, go upstairs. Or something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh... And see what's in here. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggles you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and a, my best wishes, Aunt Dorothy. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk. Ah, this is making me sad. I don't like it. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up, and I've been meaning, or I, yeah, I've been meaning, been. No, why am I keep saying meaning? I am been being I'm being sent. Oh, and I'm being sent to say clock say clock. Why can't I read? Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where they work is these days. I wish I could have sent a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you in next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang on there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. I guess we stopped growing up together. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I don't think so. Alright, let's sit and rejoice. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. 
I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah, but Chloe's not Chloe, pretty much. Like, she can't do anything. She can't do the things she really wanted, and she's gonna feel like a burden to her family. That's pretty much how she probably feels. I can't see shit. How do you turn the light on? Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. It happens. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Melodramatic a little bit? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. It is so nice to have you around. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Really bad. I'm not gonna read all that. Gotta be nosy first. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Me! No, I'm just kidding. I didn't take it, obviously. <laughs> I hate myself. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Look at them. No. They have no idea what's in their future. And Chloe, the baby had died. That actually kind of looks like Warren. <laughs> A little bit. Which is weird. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. It doesn't, she don't even, Joyce is already a super. She don't even care that like I'm being nosy. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Uh, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Uh, I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. More <sighs> it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. No! I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? 
I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Douchebag. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Will do. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. No! I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front this door. This whole video is just me going, oh. So maybe I should care for Chloe's sake. Uh. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. Chloe and Ow. they still get along so good. Just hurt myself. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old No. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. Ah. You too, honey. I'm so sad. Everything's just so sad. Okay. Let's go back to Chloe and give her her morphine so she feels better. Go downstairs, go downstairs. We're going downstairs. Alright, so... I definitely have to take a third time. Oh, William, I'm sorry. <sighs> Hi, Chloe. Doop, doop. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Finally. No more bongs for her. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Leave me alone, Perry! Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. <sighs> Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Chloe was a straight A student. No. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so Principal. glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Principal Wales sent a crappy letter, I guess. I'm not gonna read it. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Does Chloe oh, I already saw it. think about her childhood? She can't even feel the All right. Chloe. 
Is that okay? Perfect. Look at Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Mm. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could go back. Yes. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. <gasps> I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? <sighs> I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. Ow. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yeah. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Sorry. Keep yawning. Don't make me cry. I don't know. I'm gonna choose that. I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who w wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. No. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. I already chose this before, chose this before, because I did it before, and I am going to choose the same as I did before, and that was to accept. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that makes me a hum horrible human being. To sleep. But dreaming of us here together. Oh, wow. My legs, man. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. I'm gonna go back in time and fix everything!
so I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and you'll find out if I can go back in time in the next next Life is Strange video. So please subscribe because I post a video every single day. I kinda suck at doing it, but I, I'm trying to be better at it. But uh thank you guys for watching. Bye!